hello and welcome to another episode of my first time playing. This time I'm playing a game called Chainsaw Warrior. Now this was originally a board game from a Games Workshop, the creators of Warhammer. And uh, this is one I actually had as a kid and played quite a lot of. Um, I've not played it for, god it, it must have been about 20 odd years now. Um, so we're kind of like going back a bit so I don't really remember a lot about it but it was on sale on Steam uh, the, the digital version so I thought I'd uh, I'd pick it up and give it a go so um, I'm sure the old memories will probably come flooding back when I start well uh, we'll get straight into it okay we'll pick the uh, medium difficulty I think Or maybe the hard. Apparently, the, the hard is a classic version. Now we're going medium. Start medium. It's at six for Thursday, October thirtieth, twenty thirty-two. Reports are coming in of a major emergency in the heart of New York City. Within the last two hours, it has been revealed that the Army Special Forces Unit has sealed off a wide area around the old municipal buildings in the heart of Manhattan, and several violent explosions have been heard. No explanation has yet been given for either these or the isolation of the area, but 40 minutes ago, the head of ASFU, Colonel Miller, announced there would be a press conference at 2100 hours. We're being told that people are being evacuated from the area around the hall. For many years, one of the centers of civic government in the city. The army is giving no further details, but of course, we'll be bringing you more information as it becomes available, when it becomes available, giving it straight to you. Okay, so that was that. Um, the um, he, he could have done with a bit of voice acting, but uh, never mind. So yeah, you have uh, you have 60 minutes to save New York. Um, I, I don't think it plays out in real time, from what I remember. But um, let's uh, let's create the character. 
your roll dice, uh, generates five core stats and then selects his equipment. So, okay. So, endurance determines how well we can resist venom and radiation. That's not very good, is it? Wounds determines how much uh, combat damage we can take. Okay, how good we are hand-to-hand. -hand. A bit of a shot we are. Reflexes. My skill is two. Um, you are strong and have good stamina. Next time will be out to your endurance score. Okay. How many equipment points we're we gonna get? Not a huge amount. Right. So. We can spend the equipment points. Um, weapons displaying lower stats are easy to hit with. Start with a laser lance, which I must take with me. Okay. Tap for it. Item types you only allowed one gun and one heavy weapon. Okay. I don't know what any of this means. Um, code H, hand to hand weapon, code H, hand to hand weapon. Um, Three points. All right, so click, click, clicking on it will give you, uh, yeah, kind of like un, kind of like do it. I don't know how to like go back and. Well, this UI isn't very good because I, I, I have no idea what I'm actually doing here, but uh, apparently I spent all my points, so we'll continue with that. Okay. Yeah, so look at Can I unequip shit? I, 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 I don't know what... No, I can't. I can't do a thing. Right, okay. The equipment we have is the equipment we have, I guess. Right, so we have a day-night indicator. Once over 30 minutes of game time have passed, it will be dark. And unless you have items to help you, things will get tougher. So each turn represents six, uh, 30 seconds. Okay. Cards split into two decks and darkness resides somewhere in the second deck. You must fight your way through all the first deck before there is a chance of encountering him. So the bad guy is called Darkness. Um, moving through each deck in least possible game time is key to victory. This is an enemy house card in general. If you shoot and kill an enemy first, it can damage you. However, you'll need to pass a reflex test to shoot first. If not killed by a shot, you'll need to enter hand to hand. Each enemy has the following hand to hand strength, escape symbol. So if that symbol's there, we can't escape during hand to hand combat. Okay. Progress pressing the card back. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we can't take too much venom and radioactive uh, stuff. Okay. 
Okay then, so. This is the game. Um, Wandering Zombie appears on a roll of 6 on a 1d6. So this is a clear room. You can use this space to reload a weapon if you're carrying a spare clip, or to use certain items. For each turn spent here, there is a 1 in 6 chance a wandering zombie will arrive, interrupting any action taken. Okay, so can, can we do like anything with this? Right, so I have a knife for hand to hand, I have a blaster for my gun dynamite, which is a heavy weapon. Okay. No wandering zombie. Oh no, we've got an enemy. You may attempt to shoot it enter hand to hand or use any appropriate items. You may also attempt to escape from some enemies. Uh, use the ammunition wisely as only the laser lens can harm darkness. Well, I have a blaster on me, don't I? So, can we kill this guy with a blaster? I don't have a blaster. Okay, so I guess we're shooting it with a laser lance. I don't quite understand what's going on here. I must roll equal or under 10 to attack before the enemy closes in. There we go, 7. Awesome, that's how he kills on me. Okay, so I'm going to try and shoot him again. In fact, no, I'm going to go into hand to hand. With my knife. Right, so zombie score 16. My hand to hand with modifiers is 13, so I need to roll higher than 3 to hit. I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. There we go. Cool. Okay, right, okay. If hit by them, they infect rabid bites causing two wounds, right? So I'm going to try and shoot that. Roll equal or lower than 10. Yes, there we go. I must now roll equal or higher than 5 to hit. Dirty bastard. Great, I've got to go into hand to hand. Okay. Oh, Christ. God, they've got a high score. Right, I need to roll higher than, higher than 6 to hit them. Yeah, there we go. Slime can only be damaged by laser lance, acid, flare gun, or flamethrower. Smother and kill me on successful hit. Okay, we're gonna have to shoot him then. Well, equal or lower than ten. Here we go. Five and five. Yay! So I guess he can't go into hand-to-hand -hand combat with the uh, with the slime then. What's this escape building stuff? I don't know what it is. Trying to escape the building will take you seven or more house cars before you manage to escape. I don't know what that means. Okay, gonna jump into hand town with these guys. Ah, that's a pitiful score. Combat skills so much higher than the enemy score that they can't win. The person next to overpower them. Skip past these. Chaos Agent. 
If he hits you, 3d6 are old and you'll lose that many minutes. Right, I'm gonna try and shoot that guy. I did say shoot, didn't I? Oh, don't tell me I'm like out of bullets. Seriously? I'm out of bullets? Okay, I guess, uh, I guess I'm out of bullets. Got a roll under 10. Higher than 7. There you go. Alright, so. So where is my Lancer thing gone? Right. Z zero uses, so yeah, that is... That is fucked now. But I've still got that blaster. I don't, I, I don't know why it says it like I don't have a blaster. I can't seem to shoot with a blaster. Oh well. Oh no, Wandering Zombie. Oh, it's got a high hand-to-hand -hand, uh, thingy. I'd better try and shoot him again with the... Oh, right, I just got to scroll past. Okay. I get it. Equal or lower than 10. Done. Higher than 5. Done. Weird, um, weird animations and sounds there. Ah, oh, bloody zombies. Blasty here. Yeah. dealt with. I'd, I'd probably be better off using hand-to-hand -hand where I can, actually. God, I've got a hell of a lot of zombies. Um, he, he's got a high hand-to-hand -hand score, though, so I'm going to shoot. God, we're like 47 minutes as well. Jesus. So, escaping the building... Um, so what what does that do? Was that was that a bad thing? I guess I guess you're not meant to. Uh, yeah, I guess you're not meant to escape the building. Right, let's let's refill my lancer, which suddenly isn't there anymore. So I get I, I guess we're like starting this deck again then, which isn't good. We'll smash the door with a weapon or find another route. Right, smash my way through. Alright then, fine. Yeah, there we go. Hand to hand. More than two. Test my reflex, adding 1d6 to the die roll. If you fail, roll 1d6 and lose that many minutes. Or equal or under nine. There we There's not really a hell of a lot to say, really, is there? Um, it's, it's, it's quite a simple concept. Oh shit, what was that? I've been exposed to radiation. Further encounters, uh, encounters cause it to equal your endurance, you'll die. That's not good. 
Right, I'm going to try and shoot this guy. I've got laser lance back. I'm going to use the blaster on that. Higher than nine, that's probably not going to happen. Ah, bollocks. I need to roll more than three. Skip 2d6 of cards, choosing when to skip each one before turning it over. We have like by bypass as much as possible then. Take your side to use when needed to heal 1d6 of wounds. On use at 30 seconds and add 4 wandering zombies. Um, so how, how do I use that? I don't know. Oh right, that, that, that's just telling me what I would have um, what I would have encountered had I not bypassed it. I get it. Okay. Okay, so we're on card 18. Um, let's try shooting this guy. Nine. Yes, it, it's 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 an interesting enough game. Don't get me wrong. Um, it does pretty much faithfully uh, capture the uh, capture the board game. But there's, uh, there's just not a hell of a lot to, uh, to say about it, to be honest. Th this is pr pretty much how the board game played out. Shoot, that guy's got quite a, uh, quite a big hand to hand. This bloody radiation bollocks. That that, that, that radiation is getting higher. It can't, it can't go higher than my endurance. Um, shit, that guy. Higher than nine. Oh, you bollock. I need to roll more than four. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that 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 radiation is at seven. As long uh, as long as I don't get another nine radiation, then I'm fine. So what does weight actually do? I don't know. On to dinner. Right. You just knocked 30 seconds off me though. Slime will shoot the slime. Not with that. Can I only shoot it with that? Oh yeah, can can only be damaged by laser lance acid flake or not flamethrower. We're getting the 
I, th I think this is just like deck one though. And then you've got another deck to get through. And we're already at 35 minutes, so we're not finished this deck yet. So it's, uh, yeah. Might not be able to do it in time. I don't think you can still get the uh, the board game anymore at the minute. Um, Games Workshop really pared down the amount of um, uh, stuff that they actually sell, and and they they, they no longer sell a lot of the um, the old board games that they do. But it was a fun game because it, it it's like um, it's like a board game that you can play solo. Oh god, that's quite high. When you're drawing around of hand-to-hand, -hand, or sometimes when you're wounded, you may make a lucky shot. You have one in three chance of getting another shot before next round of hand-to-hand. -hand. Lucky shot. Give me a lucky shot. Uh, yeah. Super mess. One more than eight. God, this guy might kill me off. Failed to shoot, my weapon is smashed. God damn it. This guy is gonna bloody finish me off, I swear. No, I don't want to use a laser lance. Oh yeah, I've not uh, I've not got the bloody goddamn Thing ever, the, uh, the 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 blast has just been destroyed. Great, so that 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 didn't go well, did it? That did not go well at all. Um, have I got any any way to uh, to kind of like spend points? No. Or use item maybe? Yeah, yeah. So we can use dynamite and blow through a number of uh, of cards. Managed to skip six cards, cool. We've only got what, 31 minutes 30 though, but we only have 14 more cards in this deck. God, I can't, I can't use the laser lance. Um, I only have one more shot for it. I can't, can't use it. Higher than seven, thank you. Oh god, hand to hand will reduce by one unless I'm carrying the IR goggles or the torch, which I am not. Flash bombs and flare gun man that may now be used. Right, so it gets it gets harder at dark time. At night time rather, but dark time. What are these zombies? Right, higher than four, thank you. I'm gonna use that dynamite again, blow through another uh, few cards. Oh god damn it. Been infected with venom. Christ. So I think uh, I think the, the venom adds to the radiation and you um you kind of like um uh, need to keep it below your endurance level in in total. Ah, need to roll more than two. I think I can manage that. Oh, I've got 
two more cards in this deck. gone from here onwards expect to meet darkness darkness on the turn of a card okay so he is he is somewhere in this in this second deck let's blow through this dynamite oh god more radiation I wonder if using that dynamite you can actually skip through um, through darkness. Maybe. But still, the, the, the time's running out so I needed to blast through some cards real quick. Ah, he's here. Jesus. Invulnerable except a laser lance or implosion vest. Uh, right, so we've got to shoot him with the laser lance, which has got one use left on it. Well, equal or lower than 10. There we go. Higher than 9. You bastard. Oh my god. Is that me dead? Because you can't escape and are without a loaded laser lance or implosion vest. Death is inevitable. Ah, oh, that sucks. So yeah, that that was that was me losing um, and um, and allowing New York to be taken over by by darkness, which isn't a good thing. Um, but yeah, that 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 was Chainsaw Warrior. It's um, if if you were into the board game like I was, then that will be like quite an interesting little experience. Um, is it, 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 it's not something that I can really say a lot about. It kind of like explains itself. Apart from that, the the the, the equipment UI could do with a little bit of improvement because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing there. But um, apart from that, you know, um, it's it's a perfectly enjoyable little game. Uh, there is a sequel out as well. If you uh, look at the corner there, there's uh, um, Chainsaw Warrior: Lords of the Night. Um, sequel, which you can also get on Steam, but uh, this one is uh, is fairly cheap. It's currently on a sale. In fact, the sale has probably ended by the time you're watching this. But um, yeah, give it a go if you're into that kind of thing, or don't if you're not. I guess. So yeah, if uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.